Okay, I messed up hitting the record button. So welcome to uh, the second video. Um, I cleared off some extra trees, got some wood going, and uh, dug into the side of the hill. I found some clay in here. I made some totemic torches, uh, which if we just look here, So we made the lit fiber, unlit fiber torches by putting some of the plant twine with a stick in our inventory. Then we had to create the whittled fire sticks, which is just two sticks put together to make those. And then um, just with one stick on your hotbar, you put down an unlit fiber torch and click on it, it will become a lit fiber torch. And then with the lit fiber torch and two other sticks, we can make the totem torch, which is a much better source of light than the regular torches. Um, I also made a shelf, which was just uh, eight planks of wood um, in all the positions except for the top center. And then you just put a rock there, rocks you can get off of the ground, or if you put a piece of cobblestone in your crafting grid, that will give you um, the rocks as well, these little guys here. So after um, being down here and digging everything out for the night, I am about to venture out into a mob-filled area. Actually, yep, here comes our first customer. Obviously, creepers are the worst because they're going to ruin your farmland, which is probably going to be the most important resource that you get on your starting. Oh, one of these guys. I hate these guys. He actually dropped gold nuggets. That's very interesting. We won't have access to those until age two, so that's going to be a pretty useless item. Uh, yeah, so get all our customers down here in a place where we can handle them. That was excellent. And here comes that stupid trumpet skeleton. Hopefully he drops his trumpet so I can claim my trophy. Didn't look like he dropped the trumpet, so sad times. Oh, there's another dooter. Doot, doot, and he did. We got a trophy. Sweet. Uh, spiders are going to be super important. I didn't start, start with sheep on my island, so that's going to be my only source of string and dire wolves will be the main source of our first um, armor uh, so what we want to do is we want to get out here and we want to light up some of the area out here so I'm not being ambushed by any monsters when I emerge from my hidey hole each morning so if we put touch F7 will get the lighting grid and this will show you yellow X's are where things can spawn uh, during the night and if there's a red X then things can spawn there during the daytime. So we're just going to get one here and then one out here and then the third one can go out here and then during the next night we can try and focus on getting um, a bunch more made up. Get some of this stuff off my hotbar, which I don't need. Uh, go beat up on this little spider, and my hatchet's almost done from all this fighting that I've been doing. And now we're going to need to heal up as well, so be good to get some food going. And we finally got lucky with some string. gonna look from up here to see if there's any no it doesn't look like there's any more enemies down there. Oh there's evidence of some of those red X's so enemies can spawn there even during the daytime. 
So I'm just going to push F7 to take that off again. And I'm going to go looking for some more farmland, see if I've got any more crops here, which it doesn't look like I do. So that's unfortunate. Oh, oh my axe is dead, which is why I'm not doing any damage to that dire wolf. So let's get out of here. We will go back into our hidey hole and make ourselves a proper stone axe, which will be my regular weapon for most of the uh, playthrough. Well, most of the first couple of um, ages. So we just grab our sticks and just put just making an vanilla axe the normal way but it is a little bit better than a vanilla axe in the fact that you can repair it so you can put your if it's down on durability you can put it in your crafting grid with some stone and that will repair it um, this is broken here you can see on there and I'm just going to throw it in the garbage so you hold over your garbage push shift to open the garbage and then there that's things deleted and we don't have to worry about throwing it out um, so this is the only farm plots I got on my island, so I really want to protect those as much as I can um, because that's the only way I have of getting food right now. Um, the other source of food that we have will be, as I mentioned before, horses. So horses will drop leather or well horse hides which we can turn into leather later on in the pack but they will also drop horse meat there we go we got a little bit there I'm just going to continue to thin them out a little bit because they will respawn I was actually spammed pretty bad with them in my first couple of playthroughs so I'm not too shy about killing them off here. Okay, so I did find some clay inside my little hidey hole here. And with that clay, we can make a kiln, which we can use to cook up not food, but stone. And then with that cooked up stone, um, we can make a, a grill. I, I usually skip this first campfire thing because it's pretty useless and definitely not very efficient on fuel. So with one stone slab and seven pieces of clay, we'll make a kiln. And then you put a kiln and then beneath it you want to start a fire so this is where our fire sticks will come in to play here I'm just gonna put this away and then we need to light that on fire and get it cured once it goes to a brownish color then it's cured and you can cook things in it the first thing we'll cook will be a piece of wood which will make um, low-grade charcoal so we need the low-grade charcoal so that we'll make an everlasting flame so that this flame won't, you'll see in a second or two here, this flame will go out and then it won't be cooking anymore. And we'll have to start, oh wow, that was super lucky. That usually doesn't happen. So we got the low, oh no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Pull out the low-grade charcoal dig out the spot for the charcoal to go. You need one block's worth of space in there for the flame to go. And then if you light the low-grade charcoal on fire, now we have a permanent fire there and that will always be working. So if we go here and we look at the grill, the stone grill, this needs three regular pieces of stone and three rocks. If you had found um, andesite, dorite, or 
um, granite, then you can use those and you don't actually have to cook up stone, but um, on this island I didn't see any of that around, so hence we've got to cook up three pieces of stone here to get our grill going. And then we will put the grill down just here, and obviously we will need another piece of um, low-grade charcoal to keep it fired. So. We'll do that. We'll just get the rest of the things ready. So we'll grab our small stones, three of those there. Then two smooth stone plus the last smooth stone when it's ready. And we'll get our grill and make our next piece of low grade charcoal here as well. So that there. There is our grill. We put our grill up here, and then our low-grade charcoal will go there. We'll need another set of whittle fire sticks to light that one on fire. And now we have a place where we can cook food, and this will cook up to 16 items at a time. I was just going to actually look at one of these here. So the raw horse meat um, doesn't have very good um, utility uncooked, but once we cook it up, we'll see that it gives us a lot of haunches. It's a, even better than cow meat. And now that I hear all those owls how hooting out there at night. We need to close up our entranceway so that nothing can get down in, in here and bother us. So over the night we will cook up all of the food and work on other things like looking at our um, advancements, see where we're going next on there, maybe dig out some more base room if you want to get that going. You can work on um, breaking up some wood, so chopping up some wood so that we can make more storage room. Lots of things that we can do in, at night here. We don't want to waste uh, time idling, just waiting for a day to come back. Uh, 16 is actually perfect. So let's grab that and we will start making a couple of more shelves. Uh, once I'm done making up all this stuff, we'll be back. All right, welcome back. I made up a couple of extra shelves and got all of my inventory sorted out. I ate up a piece of horse meat, um, which helped bring up the um, health there. And I hear some nasties outside. I'm not going out there just yet. Um, speaking of which, the nasty just reared its ugly head. Um, I don't know what it is exactly, because I don't remember that from playing in Sevtech Ages itself. So we'll pop out there and see what it is here in a few minutes. I wonder if... Okay, so those lights there are doing a pretty good job of lighting up my base, except this corner here. So. I'll just keep that located centrally there just to keep everything lit up nicely. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of time left in the night here. I don't really want to go out there, but I'm going to because I want to see what that thing is. There's a creeper. I don't think that's what's making that screeching noise. Some zombies. Oh, there it is. So whatever that thing is, it's making some nasty noise. That's why the axe is my preferred weapon, is that I can kill most things in two criticals. When you start seeing some of the armored zombies and such, then yeah, they don't go down into whack two criticals but 
Sometimes they do. Karate zombies. Hello. Alright, let's go get rid of this guy because I'm don't want to listen to his stuff anymore. Dark, dark offspring, eh? Now he's going over the edge. Bye bye, dark offspring. Don't want your kind around here. Oh, looks like we've got a fish for our troubles there as well. Alright, so the day is coming, so basically the next steps that I want to look at is... And I heard a dog somewhere. Hopefully it's not the wild dogs. Uh, okay, so we'll run back into safety here for now. So the next thing I want to do is I mentioned I needed to get some more plant twine going. To get more plant twine, once you've broken all the grass on your island, you either have to go to another island and break grass there, or find a way to regenerate the grass, which is bone meal. So obviously we've got some bones now, and can we grind this guy down into bone, bone meal? Uh, we can once we get the millstone, but not... Oh, we can actually. We just bash a sharp bone against a hard surface flaking in world that will give us the flaked bone which will in turn we can put on a grindstone to get bone meal so to make the grindstone we need six regular stone and a stick so I got ahead of the game and got some regular stone uh, cooked up there so we'll get that on there uh, let's get clear out some of our inventory again now that we've gotten spammed. Get our sticks. Bashing rock. And boom, we've got our grindstone. So we'll just put our grindstone down here. We'll do the in-world flaking there. Put our flaked bone on the grindstone and then just hold right click and it will grind down the flaked bone into some bone meal and then we can get some more grass and inevitably we'll get spammed with some more flowers as well but it is what it is not too horribly worried about it there's that dog there's this trumpet oh there's the dog there these enemies and there we go grass so I was mentioning about these rocks that we'll find in the world and these are what they look like now we want to be careful if you pop it once and it pops right off that's fine but if you right click on it and it doesn't break immediately that's not fine because that's actually a hidden item which tells us these will turn into samples which will tell us what kind of minerals are below us there so that was all that I wanted to go oh, more grass there yet so that was the last things that I wanted to go over with in this episode um, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one